This is the Used Car Dealer Podcast. I guess if you know the make and model that you're into selling, I always say sell something you enjoy driving because you're kind of excited being around these cars. And also, too, once you know how much these cars are worth, you could almost just buy that car on a whim, right? A lot of people try to buy and sell everything, but you're making mistakes because you've never bought or sold that car before. So for me, I got into Land Rovers for a long time because I knew the years, I knew the models, and people could ask me a question and I had the answer. So they were very confident in you know purchasing, purchasing a car from you. And also your, your results show you've sold 50 Land Rovers, right? So that's kind of the approach I would say to take. Start small, fix, uh, focus on a niche, and then kind of go from there. One of that add on to that, too, is that you know we actually started hanging around auctions. That may sound silly, but even if we didn't uh, plan on buying something, we'd go there, we'd listen, we'd talk to other dealers, we'd talk to right, and listen to the auctioneers. And we were amazed, actually, how open many of the dealers were when sharing. They recognized that you're new in the business, and they don't see you as necessary a competitor, especially if you're from a different part of town, and they're very, very helpful with us. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. If, if you're an extreme beginner... I tell people, hey, first step, just go to the auction. Like, enjoy watching right. the auction, right? So.